Okay, here, here's another thing that um, if you model it out, it shows how ridiculous uh, it actually is to think that this is true. And that is the idea that somebody on the, in the southern hemisphere, quote-unquote, on the flat earth, would not be able to see Polaris, for example, because of, uh, you know, the farther away you go, the lower things appear on the, on the horizon. Well, that's true, but the, <laughs> look at this. Okay, this is a scale model of the flat earth. This is 25,000 miles across, which is what you guys say. Um, and I'm assuming the dome is something like this. Okay, Polaris would be in the center, right? Okay, in the top, I'm guessing. Where else would it be? Of course, it'd be in the top center, okay? Now, look, if I put somebody even on the edge of Antarctica, look how, I mean, there's no way. There is no way that they would not be able to see that. Um, and that's only a tiny part of the problem. Uh, not only can they not see Polaris from there, but the stars that they do see are completely different stars, and they turn in the opposite direction. I mean, you got to be a, a complete idiot to, to believe this stuff. Sorry, but, I mean, what sort of reality do you guys live in? I mean, give me a break. Use your brain. Oh, and one more thing about this. This is why this is not a problem for the globe model. Look, if a person is here, uh, let's say on the equator, and they're looking at Polaris, they see it close to the horizon. And here's why. See? Duh. Okay. Now, as they go south, look what happens. Polaris goes lower and lower from their perspective because of the shape of the Earth. It's simple. It's just so simple. You guys are, you know, twisting reality to make it fit what you want it to be. But that's not how it works. I mean, it's, it is what it is. Sorry.